Roads across the north of New Zealand were submerged in flood water on Tuesday after Cyclone Gabrielle lashed the region, bringing strong winds, heavy rain and huge ocean swells. The storm caused extensive flooding, landslides and damage to infrastructure, prompting the country to declare a national state of emergency. Only the third time in its history it has done so. Mobile phone services are down and some towns are cut off. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins said the extent of the damage was still being assessed. It has been a very big night for New Zealanders across the country, but particularly in the Upper North Island. Uh, I want to acknowledge the uh, situation that New Zealanders have been waking up to this morning. A lot of families displaced, uh, a lot of homes without power, uh, extensive damage done uh, across the country. It will take us a wee while to get a handle on exactly what's happened. Um, we, uh, I want to acknowledge those families that are currently functioning without power and in some cases without communications. Um, we'll be working as quickly as we can with the relevant uh, agencies uh, to make sure that we're getting the power back on, to make sure we're restoring communications as quickly uh, as we possibly can. People will be aware that a national state of emergency has been declared. Uh, and that means that we'll be throwing everything at this to make sure we're providing as much support to the response as possible. Uh, we have the Defence Force on the ground now, uh, already providing a lot of logistical support, uh, helping with evacuations, helping to keep essential supplies moving, uh, and in due course helping with the clean-up uh, when we get to that point. Gabrielle is 60 miles east of Auckland, near the east coast of the country's North Island, and is expected to move east-southeast, roughly parallel to the coast. Authorities have evacuated beach settlements and are still asking people to leave their homes as rivers continue to swell and the tide rises. In Hawke's Bay, sheep were carried to safety from paddocks flooded with heavy rain. One local resident spoke of her distress. This doesn't compare with anything. This is just over the top. Really, um... You know, like the thunder and lightning and everything last night was just horrific. So, but the, the devastation is just, oh, it just makes you, makes you want to cry, to be honest. Very upsetting. New Zealand's parliament will sit briefly on Tuesday afternoon, but will then be adjourned until February the 21st because of the cyclone. Here is the current situation as we know it at the moment. The centre of the cyclone is just north of the East Cape. It's moving in a southeasterly direction away from the country. There is still rain and wind forecast for the Tairawhiti Gisborne area, a few showers, further showers for Hawke's Bay, and a large band of rain through the central part of the country. The good news is overnight tonight, in most areas, we are expecting to see the weather easing. comment that 22 years ago when we did the community plan, we, the community asked the council not to do curb and channeling what they have done, and we wouldn't be having these problems today. We had a, uh, a first...
So did you bring the farmer to do it? We don't, we don't, we, no, we don't even know where the farmer is. But...